Welcome back! Today I'm going to show you three simple techniques how you can create a custom vignette or in other words a darkened edge of your image in Photoshop. Let's get going! The first way is by far the simplest as well. For that, for it to work, make sure that you have all the information on a separate layer. If you do not have that, then make sure that you click on your keyboard, Command or Control, Alt, Shift and E, which will create a so-called stamp visible and just create a new layer for you at the lower right hand corner. Once you have that, move to the top to Filter and then Camera Raw Filter. This is the fastest you shall see, because once the Camera Raw Filter has loaded up, move to the FX button on the right hand side, Go down to post crop vignetting and just start playing with the slider here. Moving to the left is going to make the edges dark. Moving the slider to the right is going to make it white. So in my case, I want to go for a nice, I don't know, so like nice halfway to the left side. I can increase or decrease the size of my midpoint, make it round or not, and increase the feathering of my vignette. This is the fastest thing you can possibly do. Once you're happy, you just hit OK and the rest is being done for you. Looking at the before and after, you can clearly see that now the edges of our image are darkened and we have a nice vignette. Option number two is by using adjustment layers. For that, you have a couple of choices. You can use either levels adjustments, curve adjustments, even exposure adjustments, whatever you feel like essentially. However, just as an example, I'm going to create a simple curve adjustment by either clicking on the curve adjustment symbol in the right panel I have right here, or I can also go on the very, very bottom part, click on the little, I guess, adjustment symbol and go up to curves. Once I have done that, I'm going to have a curve adjustment layer. Here, I want to drag the curve down, which will darken down my image considerably, depending on how far I drag it. Once I'm happy with the brightness on the edges of my image, I can close this down. And now with a brush which has a black color on it, just make sure that in the, you know, the brush has a black color, as you can see in the lower left hand corner, and an opacity of say 50% or something like that, I can now go ahead and remove this darkness from the center of my image. So I can just start dragging around the best way I want to, and as much effort as I want to put in essentially, and then I will have the brightness back in the center of my image, whereas the outer side of my image is being darkened down. Option number three, among others, is based again on a separate layer, so make sure you have all the information as myself here right now on a separate layer in the lower right hand corner. If you do not, hit Command or Control, Alt, Shift and E on your keyboard, which will create a new layer for you. Once you have done that, move to the top to Filter and then go down to Lens Correction. Yes, Lens Correction, that is correct. Once we are there, we're going to click the custom button on the right hand side and here somewhere in the middle of all the sliders, we have the opportunity to drag the slider either to the left to darken the image down along the edges or to the right to brighten it up. Why is that so much different from the other ones and that doesn't seem to be at the correct place? I'm not 100% sure, I just like the kind of effect it does, the kind of vignette it creates. So again, you can play around with this kind of thing here. While you're at it, you might as well fix some chromatic operation and change the geometric distortions. That's really necessary, so you might as well just hit OK. Awesome. Once we have done that, we can see again the before and after of a nicely darkened down edge of the image, whereas the center is still with the same amount of brightness. Alright guys, and there you go. Three simple ways to create a vignette for your images, or in other words, to darken down the edges of your photograph. Remember, either we use the camera raw filter, or we use curve adjustment layers, or as an alternative option, we can use the lens correction. And here's another quick tip for people which have not used Photoshop just a lot. If you want to keep it simple, you might as well just download one of the filter sets, which is the Nick Collection. It is free and currently offered by Google for like no money at all. So you can just go ahead, Google it, download it and be happy. Because in here you have the Color Effects Pro number 4. And there are a couple of nice effects, including darken, light and center and things like that, which if you load it up, you will see that it does exactly the same as the camera raw filter with a couple of more options and more space to play around with other filters as well. It's definitely worth checking it out. No harm in free software, I suppose. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you did like the video and you like these kind of quick tips, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. And also, if you're new and you have not already done so, don't forget to subscribe. It's going to help me out a lot. 
Further, I'd just like to point out that on my blog and on the channel I also have full Photoshop tutorials of landscape and cityscape images, not just the quick things, but also like 20-25 minutes proper tutorials on how to best or how I at least process my images in Photoshop and maybe there are one or two useful things for you in there to, uh, to sort of ignite your inspiration. Alright guys, until the next time, you have a good one. Bye!